Good day everyone, this is Chris with the Ancient Scholars. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show uh, a, a common way to use a three-way stopcock. If you don't know what a three-way stopcock is, uh, I suggest you go ahead and take a look at uh, my video uh, in the hemodynamics uh, lectures on um, what a stopcock is and, and generally how, how to use it. Um, so what we're going to do in this case is we are going to assume that we have a patient, um, let's say we have a neonatal patient, uh, newborn uh, baby and obviously we're going to be giving very small doses of medications and it's very difficult to give precise dose uh, precise and accurate doses however we can uh, facilitate that through uh, adding a stopcock into our um, circuit or our IV line rather so if you can use your imagination a little bit what I have is I have a line here and let's just assume that maybe this is connected to an umbilical catheter um, or an interosseous or even intravenous device on our patient. Um, what I can do is uh, I can use this to then deliver very precise and accurate uh, doses of medications. Um, in this case, we have a, say, a neonatal patient that's in arrest, have epinephrine 1 to 10,000. Um, we know that the dose of epinephrine for neonatal patients is 0 0.01 milligrams per kilogram or 0 0.01 milliliters per kilogram of a 1 to 10,000 solution. So what I can do is I can pop the top off. Obviously, I'd be wearing gloves in real life and, you, of course, using good technique. I can go ahead and I can draw the epinephrine out into a 10 milliliter syringe. So I'll go ahead and draw the epinephrine out. Once I've drawn the epinephrine out, so I have my epinephrine 1 to 10,000 in here. Obviously, I want to go ahead and label that as such, epinephrine 1 to 10,000. So I've labeled my syringe now. And what I will do is I will connect my syringe with the epinephrine 1 to 10,000. I will connect that to this port right here on my three-way stopcock. And then I will open this port here, and I will connect a one milliliter syringe to the port here. Okay, so this is going to the baby. This is my medication. It's labeled one to ten thousand, and uh, this is my one milliliter syringe. So now let's say that I have a uh, let's say I have a five kilogram patient. I need to administer epinephrine to that patient. Maybe we're working in arrest. Um, we know that the dose is 0 0.1 milliliters per kilogram. So a 5 kilogram patient would be 0 0.5 milliliters. It becomes very obvious that I can give a very precise dose now. I simply take my stopcock, turn it off to the patient. It's now on, and I need only to draw with my 1 milliliter syringe. I will go ahead and draw 0 0.5 milliliters out. Then I will turn off to the patient or to the uh, the medication, and then I can administer that medication, and I could even attach another syringe and um, administer a flush if I needed to do that. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll show you that one more time. So I've got my epinephrine at 1 to 10,000. Uh, we have a 5 kilogram patient. We need to administer uh, epinephrine to that patient and arrest 0 0.1 milliliters per kilogram. I'm going to go ahead and turn the stopcock off to the patient. I'm going to go ahead and draw 0 0.5 milliliters. And then I will turn the medication off and I can administer that and even give a flush if I need to. You can see how, how easy that is to draw very accurate and precise doses of medication. This helps decrease uh, the chance of, of uh, errors, giving too much, giving too little. Um, and it's a really nice mechanism um, by which I can use to um, give very, very accurate doses. Uh, in addition to that, I can also give uh, fluid boluses and things of that nature. So let's say that I'm going to give a fluid bolus to my patient. I can use a larger syringe and administer that fluid uh, through here as well uh, through the agent of the stopcock. Okay, guys, um, hopefully you found this video helpful, and as always, thanks for hanging in there.